Everything is freaking out in this frame. Look at that. That is incredible. All right, do you see this one? See this one over here? Kind of lift off. Or this one over here? Grow. And jump up. Or this one jump over. Look at that. It jumps from over here. This one jumps to here. Moving this one to here. Moving that one. That is some freaky filament action. We've got a total freaky filament fandango going on. That is incredible. Boom, boom, boom. I ain't never seen filament activity like that before. The sheer scope and size of these filaments. Those things are bigger than Jupiter's. Many Jupiters. So you got all these yahoos. Go pointing at scientific textbooks. Going solar activity is low. Well, well, allow me to disagree. Pretty please. It's like a plasma ballet. All it needs is a little music. And look at it. Look at that. That thing is non-stop. That's crazy. Fun times talking about the sun. Definitely burning up. Crack, crack, pow. Snackle, crackle, pop. Snackle, crackle, pop. Pretty good looking stuff. This is interesting. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, today is another one of those days where I get to make a fantastic double peaked minimal solar maximum that was never ending in really weird video. Where all I do is observe what is going on and say, hey, that's weird. All right, that's what we're going to do. Enter stage left, planet Venus. Notice how she spreads her planetary wings to show off to the other planets. Planet Venus is definitely hot to trot. And if you'll notice, some strange cosmic rays shoot at her. As almost to send her a signal like, hey baby, what are you getting into tonight? And then exiting stage left is Mercury. One of the reasons I get extremely frustrated, oh, looks like on August 22nd, the sun blasted Venus with a coronal mass ejection, and then Galactus blasted Venus with a cosmic ray. That's interesting, wouldn't you say? Venus, Mercury. One of the reasons I get really, 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 really frustrated is because I'll be like, oh my god, the sun is freaking out. It's got filaments popping off, tons of solar tsunamis, solar forests, backside coronal mass ejections and solar flares. And then science boys will say, oh, activity is low. Solar activity is low. Trust me, I'm a scientist. And then some start freaking out, popping off solar flares and shit. I mean, does that look like low solar activity to you? Does it look like the sun is just chilling out, hanging out, doing nothing? No. I mean, you got, look at that thing. They always cut it off before it gets good. It almost looks like the sun is pointing a laser right at Venus, following it the entire time. And then you got your little sun baby thing over here that's kind of flipping out, trying to be born or some shit. Is it just me or does Venus look like an egg? Like, why you look like an egg, Venus? All right, so even our friends at spaceweather.com are getting in on the low activity. Nothing really happened in action. But if you'll notice, right about the third, the sun lets out a gigantic coronal mass ejection, solar flare, pretty much backside. But hey, look at that. That's in the last two and a half days. That is a lot of solar activity. One after another after another. And those things, and those things are huge. I mean, look, the, the white circle in the middle is the sun. You could fit probably six suns in there. That's almost a face. That's crazy. And you can almost see chunks of stuff. And then suddenly it blows out to the left. And what is this little thing doing? Must be a giant filament. And then there's a chunk up there. And look how this line, the little solar baby, it's got one side interacting with one side of Venus and the other side interacting with the other side of Venus. That is crazy. And seems to defy normal planetary physics. And then boom. They cut the good stuff and then another giant, holy crap, seven size, seven times the size of the sun. Solar flare coronal mass ejection thingy. With a giant O in the middle and a giant chunk ripping off. Look at that. That is incredible. Once again, the sun is just a little white circle in the middle. Look at that. Bam. Everything is freaking out in this frame. So yeah, expect weather on Earth to be very weird. Because here at Thor News, we like to believe that the sun affects the weather. in a giant circle O. And then notice this black V. We like to think that's dark matter. But we like to make fun of dark matter. <laughs> oh, yeah. But how, if this is the sun, how, how's all this just black? If that's the sun, how's all that just black? That don't make no dang sense. All right. Now we're over at Stereo Head HI1 camera. Watching Mercury leave the frame. And Earth kind of hang out. If you'll notice, the planets are on a giant pole. It's like a candlestick, if you will. Wait, that don't make sense. And then all of a sudden, bzzz, What is that? Man, that is a stereo frame. I don't know what that is, but it looks crazy. It looks like a giant sword with jig jagged edges. Solar physics is dangerous. See how it gets all dark up here, and it's almost like there's an explosion here, and then there's a bright white light down here. That's very odd. Wouldn't you agree? And these are such wonderful cameras. 
Such high definition. There's got to be at least 8 to 12 pixels in that thing. Yes, that one's pretty. And here we look at the galactic core. And say, awesome. And that's Mercury. All right, so the sun is freaking out. Still. To expect weather to freak out people to freak out everything to get freaky. Yep, it's September. I'm not saying doom. Just saying the sun is acting weird, but professional scientists are acting weirder. Low activity. My ass. Peace out. God bless everyone.